Hey guys, this is Dan from iPadJailbreak.com. Uh, CH Pwn has updated Zephyr uh, in the Cydia store and uh, provided support for the iPad. Uh, it used to just be an iPhone app. I don't even think you could download it on the iPad. Um, now it's on version 1.2, I think. Yeah, version 1.2 supports the iPad and iPad 2 uh, for gestures. So, as you can see, it's just like on your iPhone. You just put one finger down, and you pull it up. And I have it on a delay so that I will pull up my app switcher. That's my uh, city board or driver board there. You turn that off so it doesn't automatically enable. Uh, this tweak is two dollars and ninety-nine cents from Cydia, and uh, I've had this on my iPhone 4s uh, for quite some time. Going here to the options you have for Zephyr. You have the option to enable it or, or disable it. Uh, the number of fingers, yeah, I have it set for one, so from left to right I can put one finger here. I can switch apps. And uh, you can change this to a different number of fingers, so if you had, you had required to have two. So now if I put one finger here, it doesn't do anything. If I have two, it works. And my uh, four finger gesture, I don't have to come off the edge, I can just put it right here. I can pull it over. And that's the, uh, the original iPad gestures. Uh, and also, like if I put my, all four of my fingers here and close it, that's that, this is a gesture for the iPad. Um, also, all four fingers going up was uh, how you pulled the app switcher up, but now instead I can just do it with one. It has a little bit of delay there. Uh, sensitivity, you can adjust it. Uh, gigantic, uh, those kinds of things. Kind of funny, different sensitivities. I have it keyboard disabled and you can have a certain applications that you don't want that to, to happen so if you have a one finger swipe or a two finger swipe and you're playing a game or something that I mean I've noticed there's a few apps that I have issues with uh, getting my fingers on the edge and I start I start switching apps um, so you can disable them in any of your apps that you have any issues with uh, for the swipe up in the bottom you can have it just uh, just a switcher only you can turn it off completely or you can have it even close the app. So my one finger swipe here, if I just throw it up, it closes the app. If I bring it up and hesitate, it'll pull up my app switcher. So, uh, and then you can set the number of fingers on that one as well. So I can adjust that to one, two, three, four. Uh, have a sensitivity, the same options, a huge, gigantic, tiny Wii. Uh, disable it in the keyboard, and then you can have certain applications, you don't want that, to, that one to happen either. Other than that, I mean, there's a switcher delay here, and I set it a little shorter so it doesn't have to wait as long, but if you set it higher, like let's say 1.3 seconds, now my one finger here, I have to wait here longer for my switcher to come up. Uh, I just as soon have it shorter, a little bit shorter sequence, so if I'm going to get rid of it, I can just throw it up. If I decide that I want to keep it, and just want to go to the app switcher, I can hesitate. Uh, these are just some nice additional options uh, to the reg to the regular gestures that are available in your uh, on your iPad. See right here. You have that on four fingers, five fingers, pinch the screen, uh, swipe up to reveal the taskbar. So I have all four fingers. Just brings that up. Put four fingers back down. Same way switching between apps. I need four fingers to do that and a five finger pinch. Is not a Zephyr option. It's a I'm just an iPad just a multitasking gesture. Be sure to drop a comment to uh, iPadJailbreak.com or uh, on YouTube at iPad Jailbroken, and be sure to subscribe to our videos. And we'll be having an iPad 3 giveaway coming up soon uh, once the uh, new Retina iPad is released. Thanks.